Do you have specific VO2 max workouts? So if you're doing them by power mostly that you like to prescribe, or are there a few that are kind of like your bread and butter that you just think athletes really do well with? Are you like a 40, 20 guy very often? Are you more of like a constant power guy? Are you hard start? Like what's your yeah. you side for each athlete, I guess? Yeah. Well, it's a tricky one. I mean, I don't know if I know a hundred percent how I decide for each athlete. It's definitely something that I feel like I'm still, you know, playing around with at times and refining. I mean, I've got a few thoughts on it. Like, I think that the 40 twenties, I, I use them a lot. Um, and I think they're great for a few things. I think they're great for accumulating time and zone, you mm -hmm. know, in a way that's relatively low stress. If you want to just kind of shoot to bank time in that VO2 zone, because you believe that's going to elicit a good adaptation, but you don't really want to work too hard either because of like where the workout falls or like, and you're almost like going a little bit this direction of doing more VO2 work in a preseason type phase rather than like really sharpening up for races and stuff. I think like, I think there's some good school of thought around just like, time and zone creates a bit of a bigger change instead of just higher power you know it's like mm. are you better off doing four times two minutes at 450 watts or six times two minutes at 420 watts they're like mm -hmm. you know say they're both over say the person's threshold is 380 they're both kind of in that vo2 space one of them you do more time and zone one of them you do more power mm -hmm. um but i think in terms of improving vo2 max probably larger time and zone is a bigger impact so i think the 40 20s are like a great way to spend a lot of time and zone but also have it be not too hard if you're kind of doing them not as like best effort you know okay. so then it's something where it's like you can put in in a period where you say let's do a lot of time in the zone uh but i don't really want you to like have a super high rpe for this session you know um and maybe even have the benefit of having it be a bit more intermittent so you're practicing a bit more of that pace change i think for me that's one way i use the 40 20s let me the jump in there real way, quick so would oh, yeah, you when you're ahead. saying it's a lower rp because i hate 40 20s because i think they're very hard would you have them do the so the 40 as the over would you have those as like 120 percent ftp or how do you pick the number like they're not going full yeah. gas then or exactly not full gas so i shoot for like 110 to 115 percent of ftp but maybe do like three blocks of 10 or something which would be 20 minutes in the zone like so 10 times 40 400 seconds. 1200 yeah. yeah okay okay cool keep going sorry now because someone then, will email me that and they're like can you reach out to nate and get the exact example so i just start to ask them right now <laughs> yeah and and i mean that's something where like i'd maybe move it up over time or something right. but um, you know, if we wanted to do some 4020s in the winter because we thought like, okay, we want to build your base, but it also almost feels like you need to improve your VO2 max. And like we want to, if we want to improve a lot, we probably need to stretch that out over a longer period of time.